my god, we get the stat sheet? I never look at the okay, stat sheet. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, coach is going to be there. This is Ellie and Abby. Yeah. Whew. Time to look at the stat sheet. Our, our youngest daughter is Ellie, so she's a good reader. Oh, really? What's it? Is it short or anything? Uh, just actually with Elle. Yeah. I'm Eleanor. Oh, most of nice. I've ever played. <laughs> really? Who is it? I could go another thirty five. Yeah, we'll give you a second to get settled. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready to go. All right, everybody, thank you for coming. Congratulations to Princeton. Uh, up here on the days, we have head coach Carla Berube, uh, student athletes Abby Myers and Ellie Mitchell. We'll start with an um, opening statement from coach, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was a great Ivy Madness uh, game. <laughs> we were talking about madness. Um, wow, uh, just a battle. I knew it was going to be a, a great challenge uh, in this game. I think a lot of people were just thinking, it, you know, Princeton's going to win this, but I knew, you know, Harvard was going to fight to the to the bitter end and, and to play um, just their tails off um, for their amazing coach. Um, you know, and not wanting their, their season to end and not wanting, you know, Kathy's, you know, career to, to be over. So um, it took every ounce of everything we had to, to pull that to pull that out. Um, and so we give we give Harvard a lot of a lot of credit. We certainly knew that it was it was gonna be tough, but we um, we persevered and um, and got the the stops down the stretch and, and um, you know, I thought some of our experience at the end and, and hitting big free throws and, and getting the stops when we needed to was, was big. I thought Ellie had a huge steal near the end and, you know, Abby sort of carried us on the, on the offensive end uh, quite a bit. So uh, it took a, a great, great team effort um, in a, a great environment, incredible environment. Um, and so I feel very, very fortunate to be um, sitting up here um, with, with the, the opportunity to, to play tomorrow now for the, for the championship. Next, we'll go to questions for our student athletes. And once again, for media members, if you could please introduce yourself and mention your media outlet. Jonathan Tannenwald of the Philadelphia Inquirer. This is, I think, for Abby, but Ellie, you're welcome to weigh in too. Abby, Carla was just praising your offensive contributions in this game, but I wonder if you'd talk about the defensive contributions, especially the last 30 seconds or so in the team defense that gets Mackenzie Forbes of Harvard into that three that she shot that got tipped and gets her over there into the corner. So it's a tough shot. What's going on all your guys' minds in those final seconds? Yeah, I mean, I have to praise all my teammates that played on the court tonight. Um, you know, Ellie, Grace, Caitlin, and Julia, they are amazing defenders, and I trust them more than anyone else in the league to defend, especially in the, like, you know, tough situations, like last 30 seconds of uh, the fourth quarter, I would put them on the court um, over anyone else. And, you know, I think that's just trusting, trusting our defense and trusting our principles um, down the stretch and give it to, you know, Harvard. Lola made a really, a really tough shot um, to put them within one near the end. And, yeah, I think it's just constant communication. Coach really emphasizes that is, you know, scream if you want to switch it or if you, if you don't. Uh, so everyone's on the same page. But at the in the end, uh, we were able to, you know, get that win, but it was definitely a very tough game and, and um, we're ready for tomorrow. Hi, Jen Hadfield with the next. Uh, this question's for, for both of you actually, just curious, um, you know, what it felt like out there playing in Ivy Madness, you know, for the first time in a while for you, Abby, and, and at all for you, Ellie, just what it felt like out there. And it, it seemed like you guys had a pretty good traveling fan base. So what was the environment like from your perspective? It was a lot of fun. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity to be here. Obviously, this is my first time, so there's some nerves, but they're good nerves, and I think the crowd was great. Um, we haven't been in a tight game like that in a while, um, but I think it's good preparation for tomorrow. We'll see what happens, but it was a lot of fun. We don't want that for tomorrow. Shout out to our men's team for being here, yeah. too. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Adam Zalonka with Garden State. Abby, this is the closest game you have played in three months, maybe. It is down to the wire. So in the last, you know, 10 minutes, five minutes, as, especially when it gets to what, within one point, what is it like in the huddles? What are you saying to each other? Um, 
honestly that we love each other and that we would take us five over any other five in the league. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things where, yeah, like the past, you know, 10 plus games, we haven't had a close game like that. But, you know, credit to coach and the coaching staff for getting us prepared in tight game situations um, in practice. So we were, we were, you know, ready for anything. Um, but we also emphasized before that this is a tournament game. This isn't a regular season game. There's a different vibe to it, right? It's at Harvard's home gym. So we just wanted to be ready and play confidently and, and in the end trust our, our defense and um, just, you know, our, our game plan. Um, so, yeah. Rob Brown, Ivy Hoops Online. Do, do you feel that, uh, you know, after playing uh, Harvard on Sunday, do you feel they did anything different today or they just executed better? They made some tough shots. I think that was the big thing is, um, you know, and, and they're obviously a great offensive rebounding team, so they still gave us trouble on that end. Credit to Ellie for getting 16 boards. It's amazing. And I think she, I think she should have gotten more. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Maybe if you boxed out. She Maybe I boxed out, exactly. But yeah, no, I, I just think um, it's the tournament play, right? So people are going to make big shots at, down the stretch, and, and that's what Harvard did. So we just had to make sure to eventually, you know, get a stop and, and, and commit to the other end and, and get, a, get a bucket. Any other questions for our student athletes? Abby, for you, there was a point in the first half where Harvard went up seven, and then you had a personal 5-0 run to cut the, cut the deficit. Was that like a conscious thing where you're like, okay, we're down and I'm, you know, the leading scorer and I need to, to step up? Or, like, was that not running through your mind? Um, honestly, yeah, it was running through my mind. Um, their crowd was cheering loud and I realized that, you know, they were getting closer and we were down a few. So I just wanted to, you know, try and get myself open as best I could within the offense um, and knock down a shot. I don't think I touch the ball up before that. So I think it was more of just anticipating when I would and, and then making sure I got open enough to, to shoot it. But then again, credit to you know my my teammates for getting me that shot. I know Julie had four assists, which is awesome. Um, she, she you know made the big difference in that. Any other questions for our student athletes before I let them go? Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm not going to jump down like last time. I don't have. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Questions for Coach? Incredible. Um, yeah, I've, I've talked a little bit about just her, um, you know, just positive sort of influence on me, but for the greater like women's basketball, um, for gender equity, what she did at, at Westwood back in the day and, and, and what she fought for here at, at Harvard too has been, um, I mean, she's just, a, she's just a trailblazer. I mean, she's always thinking about Others, she's always thinking about how to, to grow this game. She's such an important member of our, like the WBCA. And, um, and yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I hope I could have some sort of um, positive impact. It, it will never be as, as great as, as Kathy's. And um, she's just left in, in just an incredible legacy um, in women's basketball and, of course, in the, in the Ivy League. And, um, you know, I remember all those incredible Harvard teams. Um, uh, over the years, and and she's just um, she's just done it the right way, right? Like everybody loves Kathy, everybody respects Kathy. Um, she did an incredible job tonight in, in you know her last Ivy League game, and I um, you know just uh, just love her and respect her um, wholeheartedly. Um, incredible human. So when you're knocking down two free throws in 1995 in the national championship game, how much did you know about her? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, probably not as as, as much um, at that point. Just you know, I was in the the store's bubble. Um, but you know, as soon as I got into coaching, learned a lot about Kathy's influence um, and impact on the on the game. Um, I know she recruited me here a little bit, um, but um, you know, once I got into the coaching profession, I just knew what what she's you know she's been able to to accomplish in high school and, and here at Harvard. 
Thanks, Jonathan Tannenbaum of the Philadelphia Inquirer. I asked, I'll ask you the same question I asked Abby about the defensive possessions in those last 30 seconds or so, especially one where Julia tipped the three by Mackenzie Forbes. Anything special you draw up in those moments or just say, go out and do what you've been doing? I mean, they're, they're, no, when you're, you know, when you're just needing to get a stop, right? You can talk about sort of, um, you know, like it was a lot of flare screens, right? So are we going to switch on those flare screens? Are we going to stay on those flares? Are we going to chase? Um, we had been switching, and then the last couple of possessions, we decided to, to chase, and maybe that was a little bit of, of a different, um, you know, just a, a slight change to our um, our defense, and I think that, that helped just to, to stick on them. Um, no, they, they executed really, really well. They still got, you know, a lot of open looks and credit. Like, they can hit shots, and we, we knew that. We knew last Sunday that they weren't – you know, hitting those shots, but they're certainly capable of doing it all year. Um, and uh, yeah, we uh, we just weren't close enough. Um, but they also did a good job of getting by us too, getting to the rim, and and then of course getting those second chance opportunities. So um, they were able to, to score in a lot of a lot of different ways. Um, but at the end of the game, you know, it's just communication. It's just being there on the catch, and hopefully your you know your hands are up and you're contesting that shot and. Um, and then you got to box out and make sure you, you know, they don't get a, a second chance opportunity. So, um, you know, like Abby said, we, we try to do some situational stuff in practice. Does it f ever feel in practice what that felt like out there? No, absolutely not. But I think that they, um, you know, just were, were disciplined and, and, and got the job done. I'm going to ask two quick questions. Well, one is um, I'm curious if Mitch Henderson talked to you about the experience he had at Penn when he was undefeated in 2017 and almost got knocked off by the number four seed that night or uh, that morning. Um, also, second part is with Caitlin Chen. I know you talked a little bit about her yesterday, youngest person on the court, really pressure moment. You know, she really took over in the fourth quarter. Could you talk about her yeah. character? No, Mitch didn't tell me about that. I wish he had, so he would have given me some, uh, <laughs> some tips. But... Um, yeah, uh, with Caitlin, you know, I think just good things happen when the ball is in her hands. We, we trust her wholeheartedly, our staff, our team. Um, you know, she'll say, like, I can't believe I had, you know, six turnovers. Um, but, you know, she made four huge free throws down the stretch. She's just um, composed, confident, um, and, you know, took care of the ball when we, we, we needed to. Um, I'm so glad that they reviewed that play and made sure that was our ball. That was a little scary for a little bit, um, but um, yeah, you know, Caitlin just came to, came up huge, um, you know, down the stretch. And it, and I, you know, it, it's tough for a young player like that. But I think the confidence that her teammates have in her, she's she's ready for these these moments. And you mentioned, uh, you know, not being quite able to simulate this in practice as no one is. Um, what do you feel like you learned or, or got better as a result of playing, you know, this tight game with this crowd? Yeah, uh, you know, like I said, I, I knew we were going to get, you know, just Harvard's, you know, best or, or one of their best games. Um, and yeah, I mean, everybody wants to be playing their best basketball this at the end of the year. Um, and we need to be ready. We need to be ready for that. Um, you know, I don't, I think we were a little undisciplined at, at times and, um, you know, and, and, you know, there was a, a long stretch where we didn't score the basketball and, um, we just need to be, I think just more, more disciplined, a little bit smarter with the, with the basketball and, and not have those kind of stretches. Um, but I think that they, they, I think they always stay pretty composed. We've had some some tight games, like your like your Florida Gulf Coast. That was a hard environment. We, you know, came up with a win down there. So I think they're 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 prepared for these these moments. Um, but maybe the stakes are a little bit higher now, and 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 really, you know, working toward this this Ivy League championship um, tournament championship, which is one of our goals. Um, yeah, I think. You know, we came out with a win, not playing our, our absolute best. Um, I think they're going to feel like they can put together a better 40 minutes um, tomorrow night. And I, I hope that for them, and um, we'll certainly get prepared, um, you know, watch this, this game that's next to, in, you know, really talented teams and great coaches. And, and um, yeah, we'll spend the next, you know, 22 hours or so, um, you know, preparing.
um, to be at our best tomorrow night. We'll take a couple more questions. Hi, Coach. Wilson Kahn from the Daily Princetonian. I'm curious, Ellie Mitchell has two double-doubles in the last five days against Harvard. What makes her such a great rebounder, and how dangerous can she be on offense when she gets her postgame going like she did tonight? Yeah, I mean, so Harvard is a little a little undersized, right? So she actually kind of feels like she's a big post player in there. Um, you know, she just did a good job of, of rolling to the rim and, and sealing inside, and, um, you know, in some of those, those you know, little bunnies were, were put backs off of offensive rebounds. I mean, she's just relentless on the on the boards. She's relentless. I mean, she must have been on the floor 20 times, like just diving for for things. And even when she's like 10 feet away, she's still diving, trying to to, to get the basketball. Um, you know, we just we just love her work work ethic. But I think um, you know, with Harvard, because you know they're a little bit undersized. You know, we're we're able to really look into her um, to score the basketball. We'll take one more question, if there is one. Where are we good? All right. All right. Thank you all. Thank Congratulations, you. Coach. Thank you so much.